The Earth is ancient. It keeps a multitude of primordial secrets hidden within its crevices and formations from long before humanity came into existence. From storms to volcanoes, the Earth is as cruel as it can be loving. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be looking at three amazing volcanic discoveries. A chunk of Yellowstone the size of Chicago has been pulsing. In the very middle of the Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming lies a colossal 640,000-year-old caldera crater left behind from a past volcanic eruption. This caldera is a gorgeous and inspiring landmark of geysers and pools heated by the magma churning beneath the water's surface. One of the geysers, the Norris Geyser Basin, has over 500 hydrothermal properties. These geysers change and alter over time and never remain the same. However, for the past 20 years, a geyser segment that has grown larger than Chicago has formed. This geyser continuously lessens and expands via unpredictable bursts of growth. The precise reasoning for this frantic movement is unknown. The phenomenon has been compared to the Earth breathing. Daniel Zarezen, a US geologist who is part of the research team for this strange occurrence, has stated, in all likelihood, Norris has been a center of deformation for a very long time. GPS data and satellite radars were utilized by the researchers to investigate the changes which occurred in the Norris Giza Basin throughout the years. It turns out that during the 1990s, magma flowed beneath Norris and the fluids within the magma bubbled into the Giza's interior. These fluids proceeded to become trapped, increasing pressure within the Giza and causing the ground to rise. Once the fluids were able to escape, the Giza proceeded to deflate. Now, 20 years later, these steaming fluids lie only a mile beneath the Giza. The study does not claim that the Yellowstone supervolcano was a direct cause for the Giza's breathing, but scientists are currently researching whether the supervolcano is influencing the Giza's, and if not, what else could be. The steamboat Giza has likewise been suspiciously active since 2018. Looking into the Norris Giza could provide insight into what is occurring in the caldera in general. Yellowstone's underground geology is complicated and difficult for researchers to fully comprehend, even with years of research. The magma entering and escaping the rocky interior of geysers is the most prominent theory as to why the Norris inflates and deflates. Lead scientist of the US Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, Michael Poland, states, we're only just beginning to understand just how dynamic Norris Giza Basin is. The Norris Giza Basin is the oldest thermal area in Yellowstone, traced back to having been actively thermal for 115,000 years. Between 1996 and 2004, an 18 mile long area of the basin rose nearly 5 whole inches, only to return to its original 2.8 inches by 2013. This didn't last long, as in 2014 it erratically increased to just under 6 inches per year, making it the highest ever uplifted basin in the National Park's extensive history. A magnitude 4.9 earthquake in 2014 managed to cease the sudden growth of the Norris Giza Basin. Then it sunk and inflated unpredictably until 2019, but remained at an average of 5 inches higher than it was back in 2000. According to Zurizin, two weak zones intersecting one another, that would be a place where magma might find an easier way to intrude. However, Michael Poland emphasizes that this is a reasonable hypothesis, but it's by no means certain. It could be various fluids, unrelated to magma such as heavy snowfalls of years gone by, which dug into the holes within the rock and expanded them when they melted and then refroze. If the standing theory of magma trapped beneath the Giza is correct, it could result in a hydrothermal explosion should the rock crack. This results in tremendously boiling waters depressurizing aggressively in a huge watery blast, but scientists are unable to predict when this could occur. This means that the Norris Giza Basin could explode at any moment, but it's likely to be a minor one. Small, unseen alterations deep beneath the ground occur continuously, meaning that the hyperthermal geology of Yellowstone is impossible to micromanage. Crucial changes happen that researchers know nothing about, 
and therefore cannot predict events as they happen. Despite the risk, the team has decided not to close the Giza off to tourists, as the possibility of an explosion remains unlikely. Another question researchers are asking is why some Gizas are actively acting up while others are entirely silent. Michael Poland questions, why not Echinus, which is right next to Steamboat? The team are hoping to investigate the fluids underneath the Gizas whenever possible. The team stated how fortunate it is that technology and understanding of geology have advanced in the past two decades, as this would have been impossible 20 years ago. Volcano researchers discovered a potential supervolcano in Alaska. As it turns out, there might be a supervolcano lurking in the shadows of Alaska. A supervolcano which, according to some scientists, could have a great global impact should it erupt. The Great Sitkin volcano in Alaska has erupted, putting the local surrounding areas in a frenzy. The US Geological Survey placed a red warning alert in place due to a prospective buildup of volcanic ash in the atmosphere surrounding the volcano and being spread by the winds to nearby areas. The Alaska Volcano Observatory claimed that the volcanic eruption was a short-duration eruption which lasted only about two minutes. Despite the short amount of time it was erupting, the event was described as explosive and formed a shockingly huge ash cloud which grows to 15,000 feet above sea level. In the official report, the team stated, since that explosion occurred, seismicity has reduced and satellite images reveal that the ash cloud has been separated from the vent and is moving towards the east. Of all volcano eruptions within the past 200 years, Alaska alone has contributed to three quarters of the ratio. The scientists researching the volcanic activity in Alaska were amazed when their research provided them with proof of what could be Alaska's very own supervolcano in the Aleutian Islands. It's thought that the islands could actually be an entire volcano, nearly on par with Yellowstone's caldera. John Power, who is a geophysicist at the Alaskan Volcano Observatory, claims that this suspected supervolcano, if it indeed exists, must be colossal and might have played a part in disturbing past civilizations all over the globe. Diana Roman, who worked with John Power as a co-author of the study, believes that if the supervolcano theory is correct, it would help provide evidence and an explanation behind Mount Cleveland's semi-regular explosive activity. Mount Cleveland is known as one of the most active volcanoes in the Northern American region in the past two decades. Mount Cleveland's ash clouds in general rise to be about 15,000 to 30,000 feet above sea level. Michael Poland has commented on this case of volcanic activity and the supervolcano theory, despite not being a part of this particular study, stating that these very large calderas have very large impacts all over the world. Thus, if we discovered the supervolcano, researching it could help explain all sorts of worldly phenomena from modern times, even all the way back to ancient history, if sustainable evidence is found. This elusive could-be supervolcano might just be the key to solving a myriad of mysteries. Michael Poland has added that by analysing the supervolcano, we'd be able to understand not only why Cleveland is so active, but also to fully calculate future dangers and risks that these volcanoes might cause. An ancient supervolcano has been discovered in the southeastern part of Hong Kong. Following the subject of overdue supervolcanoes, an ancient one has been uncovered in Hong Kong. The last eruption was 140 million years ago. The average supervolcano is thought to ideally erupt every 50,000 years. It's believed the previous eruption created ash clouds of 1,300 cubic kilometers, which, if it happened today, could consume the entirety of Hong Kong in an ashy abyss. It's dubbed the High Island Supervolcano. Denise Tang, a Hong Kong engineer, claims that in terms of the time period, the final pulse of the past eruption occurred at some point between the Jurassic and Cretaceous epochs on Earth, long before humans walked the Earth. The hardened ash ruins of this eruption still exist to this day in the form of wondrous columns of solid ash across the High Island East Dam. 
These columns are a tourist destination and attract many visitors annually to witness the frightful wonders of nature. This ancient supervolcano is one of many that was active between 180 million and 80 million years ago on the Chinese continental seaboard. It's believed to be similar to the volcanoes Krakatau and Tambora in Indonesia, except significantly larger. Volcanoes are nature's work of art. They are tall, impressive formations that link the underground world of scorching magma with the surface. But for all their destructive beauty, they are incredibly dangerous. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.